welcome back, this is Vapor, I'm back with another mission of StarCraft 2. Now I'm gonna say straight away that you might notice on the top left side you see my afterburning burner showing my stats for my uh, graphics card. Now I'm not using the FPS counter because obviously the in-game one is already there. I am gonna be using the the GPU degrees uh, or temperature <laughs> and how much of it is actually being used up um, now I have vertical sync on and the only reason I'm actually doing this is because one person who I'm not gonna name um, asked me to uh, about how my graphics card is performing um, in comparison to other graphics card and how what my max FPS is and all that and how hot it goes so I'm gonna have that on the screen um, if in other games I need the top left corner, I'm actually going to either remove it or move it somewhere else where th th that particular area is not needed. But in StarCraft 2, you'll need the top right corner and top left or bottom left corner to be clear, and obviously all the action bars and all that. So um, the top left is not really used, you don't really need to see that achievements tab in the menu. So um, let's get into a mission. So uh, let's do Valhalla. Our team's in position. We're ready to steal the Odin. Are you absolutely sure about this, sir? Yep. Tychus is definitely our best man for this kind of job. He does get a little excited in combat. We're gonna need to keep up with him once the fighting starts. And if he can actually commandeer the Odin, it's vital that we take out all the Dominion bases in the area. Hopefully we can block all transmissions long enough for him to do that. We can't risk word of this getting back to Korhol. How much do we know about this Odin? It's an experimental super heavy siege walker designed for prolonged frontline combat. Very powerful. Great. Even Tychus can't wreck it then. Here they go. Go, go, go! You <laughs> got a size of Tychus. So uh, as you can see, uh, while playing those videos and all that, um, even though it is using in-game graphics, it was only using about 50% of my graphics card, even though it was running around 55 degrees Celsius, roughly like that. Um, unfortunately, that's how hot my graphics card really does run. Uh, as far as I know, it runs up to about 60 degrees Celsius at times on Battlefield and such, but on StarCraft 2, obviously there's less load. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see how it's going to be doing in game. So, uh, utilizing 30% <laughs> of my graphics card. Stealth mission anymore, Vertical ladies. Sync, Bring it loud way. and fast. Where's Tychus? Oh, I can't control him. Give me orders? That's weird. Got it. Uh, sir, you seem to have found something very interesting there. If you can bring me a sample in the lab, that would be great. Activate the auto turrets! Oh, you ain't keeping me from that monster. I've been waiting. Don't provoke me. What's up? What's in it? This better be good. I'd say the best thing to do is probably to let Tychus tank whatever you can let him tank. Support force up there to cover you. Now that's what I'm talking about. Damn it, Titus. Stand down. Can you read me? He's got it stuck on transmit, sir. He can't hear us at all. Defenses are coming online at the Dominion bases. Wonderful. Get our base set up ASAP. We'll just have to follow him in and hope he doesn't get too crazy. I oh, hope I kid. Right, so I'm gonna remind you that this is maxed out, and also that ah, I'm playing at 1280 by 800. Let's see what this baby's got. Oh, I can't control him still. 
so I'm not running at a, a massively high resolution, but I am running maxed out, so still there should be a bit of load on the graphics card. But uh, in all fairness, 56 degrees Celsius compared to some cards I've seen uh, cough NVIDIA, which run at like 80 degrees Celsius, and apparently that's considered safe. I don't know. Sir, I'm picking up Dominion battle cruisers on an intercept course with the Odin. Hey, Hotshot, you want these Wraith fighters now? They'll take down a battle cruiser easy. You can build more to stop for. As I know, you can actually complete this whole mission with, well, I believe I did last time, with just having two of these science vessels on him the whole time. Defending. That's all you really need, which is crazy if you ask me. Uh, it's two just in case one of these takes damage, by the way, so, or one runs out of mana. I don't want to lose Additional supply my base. Come on. Hello. Go ahead. I'm going. The explorer reporting. I really don't remember how much they attacked. Man, I need SCPs to fix some of this damage. Starting to feel a mite sluggish. Does he always talk this much, sir? Yep, once you get him in a fight, he never shuts up. Well, now that's done with. I'm gonna take me a little break. Good thing I brought me some liquid refreshment. Right, so now that he has two science vessels after him, I'm gonna hotkey them and keep them safe for as much as I want. I will have an extra one or two of them, just handy in case uh, they do destroy them, which is probably very likely. Mm, now that hit the spot, there's nothing like knocking back a cold one on top of your enemies' smoking corpses. Uh, why did he stop? Oh. That explains it. Armed and ready. Receiving headquarters. Oh, 
So I think I'm just gonna have Let's roll. Go ahead. these guys following him as well. That way they'll, they'll defend the science vessels. So I have 56% of my graphics card being used at the moment, 56 degrees Celsius, still running very, very cool um, in comparison to most modern carrots. Our allies are being attacked. I think we're gonna put this third science vessel on the back. So I'll have enough energy because these guys are really run, running out of energy for us. Or just build a load of them because. Our allies are being attacked. Yeah. I also get some Hells Angels, more anti air in case. Um, Transformation system. In case we send some battles. That was close. That was a very close call. And I'm not gonna do my game. If he dies, he dies. It's his own fault for being so close. Basically, if you just send a load unit to arm, follow move, and the Odin, you pretty much okay. have any more Flash loading. red button. Sounds like he's freaking just morning I think. It's not that good, Tigers. Come on. Receiving headquarters. Let's keep an eye out for the research. Don't particularly need it, but extra credit is always good. There it is. So I just grab some some ground you know? Hello. Not a problem. Must be an emergency. I have no idea what that is. Can you bring me a sample in the lab? Maybe something good will come of it. Sure will. Reckon you boys will need some time to catch up. Good old tag is be right here taking it easy. Just wake me up when y'all are ready. I reckon a small new car to do it. <laughs> Base is under attack. Well, butter by a biscuit. So far, so good. Could probably do this on on uh, the hard, hardest difficulty in three. Do it pretty easy to be honest. So far, it's really, really easy. Even though the are both pretty good wheels, I should be saying that. Where's my repairing? Let's see. Quick, quick, quick. Make repairs. Maybe that's him there. Bad news? What's it for? Visual. Let's roll. Transmit orders. Ready to roll out. Come on, Jimmy. We got heads to break. It followed me home. Can I keep it? Our allies are being attacked. Can also get a few medevacs. Or 
should I? Maybe I should just get some attacked. more um, medics that might be a bit handier. Yep, looks like no road or research yet. But I'm guessing Our allies the doctor is better. in. How many do I have here? What's going on? Time to kick ass and chew bubblegum. That's Duke Nukem's line. <laughs> Copyright. Get your ass sued. <laughs> Christ, I've seven of these on him. Nobody's ever gonna kill this order. Three SCVs repairing it, as well as uh, two left, I guess. Guess I should probably build a few more. Safety first. Three bases down. Maybe the convict has his uses after all. The convict? Put more emphasis onto that word. You know, I think I'll take me another breather. You better get some backup ready for me, Jimmy. Ready for dust off. Yeah. Well, butter my biscuit. Uh huh. Dominion boys will put up a fight this time. I ain't barely broke a sweat. I love how he knows how to command this thing already. Can I keep it? Just gets into it and get, just starts commanding it. Base is under attack. see this card is performing absolutely great uh, I might have this in my future um, battlefield videos as well as well as wow and well any game which in which it's not gonna completely interfere with the actual video because obviously we don't need to stop so it's not getting in the way here unless purple is annoying you so I might go. change the color I'm my stride maybe now. white or something like that if I if it's even possible I don't really know myself because I only found out how to do this now, I was wondering for ages how to actually control the afterburner to get this to work. But um, I could only find out how to show the FPS, but up until I saw some... Uh, I actually read like that part of the manual about how to control this thing. And I think reading the manual is handy sometimes. Can't hold them alone. Can't hold him alone. 
No, I thought he was mining there for a second. Let's kill him. Zap. Our allies are being Zap. attacked. Engine screaming. Zap. Go ahead. Can't wait to dig into that. Uh, scientifically, I mean, I'm not going to eat it. I right, so think I went a bit overkill on the science vessels, but oh, well, no harm done. So as you can see, with the in-game FPS counter, Fraps just killed my FPS again. Not my graphics so as well. As you can see, when that happens, the, the usage goes down to like 45% or 38 So yeah, it's, it's performing very well, I can't complain. Uh, I did just watch a review actually about uh, another new AMD card which came out, which I'm completely and utterly disappointed with. Um, obviously, the 79 uh, series guys running around down there, have been around for a while. <laughs> what, like a month now? Uh, well, half a month. But um, the 7700 series, which is a 7770 and a 7750, have got, just come out. And they perform less than the GTX 560. Obviously, they're going to be like, I don't know, maybe probably about 20 or 30 euros cheaper, but. I don't know, I don't think they should have bought it really. I mean, yes, it's a technology, but it's not worth getting them, it's just not. It's just a waste of money if you can just get like a, a GTX 560. Like, I'm not an NVIDIA fan, I'm still not a fan. I'm obviously this is gonna get tricky. Card right now. I'm detecting battle cruisers at the next base, and the Odin doesn't have strong anti air capabilities. Scramble more wraiths from the starport. If we have enough, we can handle those battle cruisers. So yeah, I'm obviously yeah, not a fanboy for NVIDIA, but I would say GTX 560 would absolutely demolish those new AMD cards that are coming out. Like they're obviously supposed to be mid-range, and the GTX 560 is the weakest of, well, actually no, sorry, it's probably the strongest of the mid-range cards. Um, the 560 Ti, I suppose, is the strongest, uh, and then the 570 is already the lowest of the high-end cards. Or, no, I actually don't know how that's classified exactly. I would probably imagine that the 560 Ti is high-end already. There we go. <laughs> you ready yet? Yeah, if I had to say... Oh, shit. That's definitely not good. Oh well. Don't particularly need it anyway, it's not like they can do anything to me. Not at this stage, it's a bit too late for them. Even What's though just in case they actually oh I can't even build a turret yet. Ready. Screw it so. I hope you're reading this, Jimmy, because I'm heading for the last base now. Odin is in range. Fire the Yamato cannon. Hey, now that ain't fair. You're the boss. What? You want something? Not a whole lot of love. Who wants some? I'm listening. Armed and ready to go. Oh. And they have to be done in case. Receiving headquarters. So yeah, it's a very easy mission, as you can see. Absolutely easy. 
There's absolutely nothing difficult Ready about it. War. All you have to do is just protect the Odin a little bit and get some anti air. I'd say if you built five science Ready vessels war. and say maybe oh, oh, here. Just, just get the Hells Angels from the, the Mark Camp. You You'll actually be completely defended. Maybe destroy another two LCDs and you've got this mission done. Just have them on follow. Hello and protect your base. Now, how'd I miss this button with a skull on it? Oh, baby. You're in for a world of pain. Let's watch the nuke. Close. Ah, what the hell? What's in there? Looking good. Excellent. With the Odin secured, we can hit the UNN complex on Core Hall and make our broadcast. Hey, can you hear me, Captain? Maybe next time you'll dress old Tigus with a little bit of mayhem. <laughs> That's about all I trust you with, Tigus. All right. Destroy the Loki in the Engine of Destruction mission. That's strange. I didn't see a Loki. But where's my pen? Complete all the mission objectives in the engine of destruction mission. Yeah, I don't know. Guess I missed something without paying attention. The mission was just that easy. Kicking Asgard. God, that's such a tour reference to the actual movie. <laughs> or maybe it was the other way around. I suppose this was earlier. But yeah. Uh, let's talk to everyone. Well, you fought real good out there, Tychus. Your time in the freezer didn't dull your edge none. Well, fear and violence always did bring out the best in me. <laughs> Have to admit, we always did make a good team. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. It's <laughs> well, that was until I went to it's prison and then you went legit. Right. Sick, my gameplay footage was absolutely horrendous because I was sniffing the microphone every two minutes. Ever wonder why Minx don't just send him ghosts to kill ya? You? You've been a thorn in his side for a long time. Assassinating me just turned me into a martyr. <laughs> He'd never be rid of me then. He needs to kill my reputation first. Very good. You think clearly despite your heat for him. Of course, his patience has got limits too. Tread careful, Mr. Rena. Someone on this ship is already working for Minsk. I can feel it. And you're right. This is Kate Lockwell reporting from UNN headquarters on Core Hall. Let's go to Donnie Vermillion on special assignment. Kate, I'm very pleased to be talking to General Horace Warfield. General, I understand that Dominion forces will soon be showing off their newest weapon, the Odin War Machine. <laughs> That's correct, Donnie. We'll show the Odin on the streets of Core Hall itself, with full coverage from your fine network. General, Kate Lockwell here. I've heard rumblings about some sort of logistics trouble with the Odin's debut. Now, Kate... It's true, Kate. The Odin was delayed in shipping, and we briefly lost communication with the production facility. But it arrived safely, so we can go ahead with the unveiling. You heard it here first. The Dominion unveiling new weapons of destruction on the streets of Core Hall. What is wrong with that woman? Tell her not to interrupt my interviews! Your boy Horner is actually mm. pulling this off. Gotta say, I'm mighty impressed. Right, so... Go to the bridge, see who wants to talk. Sir, when Tychus came back aboard the ship, I had the techs run a scan on him. Matt, you need to get a hobby. Seriously, sir. His suit contains a sophisticated transponder. If it receives the correct code, it'll shut down all his major organs. That suit is a death trap. He's got a gun to his head. And who's got their finger on the trigger? Mobius? 
Tychus, what have you gotten yourself into? Right, so we learned that Tychus is in trouble. I obviously know what it is, but I'm not going to say it. So, um, this is the end of this mission. Thanks for watching, everyone. I am Vapo. Press the like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to be... Ch um, why do I never know how to say this properly? God, uh, being Russian is really difficult. <laughs> but, um, if you want to be kept in tune to what is going on, stay tuned by subscribing to my channel. So, I'm Vapo. I'm out. See you all next time.